Greetings friends and future ones hopefully. This video guide will introduce to you a new small and simple program and a quick way to remove the lag while watching your favorite Twitch streams. I have tested it myself on most of my friends streams as well as on a few random ones. For me personally it removes up to 90-99% of the ever so annoying stutter buffer jumping forward and allows me to enjoy the short gameplay. Whether you watch my Star Wars The Old Republic live streams or someone else's, it matters not. And here is the program. Its name is Tarts Player. Yes, the name is intended and is some sort of a tease or a joke from the creator of this software. I don't know him personally, so this is not me boosting my friend's little program. What you do inside is separated into two simple steps. First, you type the name of the stream or channel, not the whole link, just the name. Remember, that's important. Click load. From the next window down below, choose the quality, if more than one is possible. Then click watch. For smaller streamers, non-partnered ones, there will be no options for resolution and quality, unless Twitch has granted them temporary transcoding options. The default resolution and bitrate are the ones chosen from the streamer. Depending on what options they use on their own streams, the bitrate may vary and when you load it, it may differ more or less each time you load the stream into the program. For example, if the streamer is using 2500 kilobits per second with 720p resolution and has constant bitrate activated in the streaming software, every time you load the stream into the program, it should show bitrates very close to the 2500 number but always firing in a small range. This is normal. In the bottom left corner there is a number indicator, it shows how many chunks have been preloaded. The smaller the number, the closer to flawless the viewing experience will be. In the Tools and then Settings window, you can find a couple of options only. Unless you have specific desires or needs, you shouldn't need to change anything here. If you don't know what these things are, you better not touch anything at all. By default, you will be using Windows Media Player Classic to watch the streams, which comes bundled with the installer. Another thing very important is, if you want to support the streamer and communicate with them, you will still have to keep the web player and the web page opened for the chat to be possible, unless you are using IRC chat, of course. Down in the description of the video, you will find links to download this software, as well as shortcuts to the threads its developer has created on Reddit and OBS forums. Should you have any issues or questions, I hope he will be able to provide much better and more detailed answers than anybody else. He made it after all. And of course, if this is the so long dream solution to your Twitch viewing problems, remember to support the guy and make a small contribution. Here in the end, I have placed a few links with live gameplay comparisons between streams on the Twitch web player and on Tarts player. Pick one and check out what the difference is. At least for me, it was huge. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I will see you next time with another Star Wars The Old Republic video. Have a nice day.